Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. On Holdings reported second quarter 2023 results recently, and this is a company that is growing like crazy. The market wasn't really happy with the results, but I think there was a lot to like. And especially when you compare it to a dominant brand like Nike, I think investors are actually getting a good deal. So I want to dig through some of the numbers and why I think that on holding stock is a great value right now for the growth that we're getting. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. If you like this video, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. Got a link to that in the show notes. And I want to go to the earnings release and start there. Now, these numbers are in Swiss francs, and I'll talk about them as they're reported, but keep that in mind. Revenue growth was 52.3% in the quarter to 443.3 million Swiss francs. Gross profit margin was a really impressive 59.5% that increased from 55.1% a year ago and just shows the pricing power of this brand and their products. They also raised Outlook to at least 1.76 billion. Swiss francs for the current fiscal year, implying a growth rate of 44%. If we go back to earnings from a quarter ago, you can see right here that guidance was for at least 1.74 billion Swiss francs. So not a huge increase in guidance for the year, but nice to see them increasing revenue outlook as we get a little bit further into the year. One of the questions that investors really had was, how much was revenue growth going to slow in the second half of the year? That's when comparable results get a little bit more difficult. And it looks like management is at least thinking things were going to be a little bit better than they anticipated. To go through some of the channel numbers, direct-to-consumer was up 55%. Wholesale was up 51%. Sales in Europe, Middle East, and Africa was up 29%. The Americas were up 8%. And Asia Pacific was up 90.2%. It's a little bit strange how they report this, but that's what the numbers are there. And here's one of the criticisms. Cash and working capital, net working capital was nearly 600 million Swiss francs. That was an increase of 30% from a year ago. So if we go down to some of the operating results and the cash flow results, you can see here that revenue was up really sharply, but SG&A expenses were also up significantly. There was also a loss from foreign exchange. So that's why you get a big drop in net income is actually as a result of that foreign exchange loss. So that's something that's going to ebb and flow over time. If we look down here, inventories, we're up pretty sharply, about a 40 million Swiss franc increase in inventories. This is one of the things that companies that are growing really significantly have to do. They have to increase the amount of product that they're producing and fill those channels so they can make their sales. But that pulls money out of the balance sheet. It's kind of counterintuitive that it can be actually really expensive to be a high growth company, but that's exactly what's happening at On Holdings right now. What is really impressive is if we look at the cash from operating activities, there's still positive cash flow from operating activities, despite growing at the rate that they're growing. Usually companies aren't able to do that. But the fact that On has such high margins mean it means that they're able to grow profitably and continue to increase cash flow despite growing at a really high double digit rate. Now, I mentioned that comparison with Nike. And here's what I mean. This chart shows On's price to sales multiple of six on the last 12 month basis and Nike's price to sales multiple of 3.2 on a last 12 month basis. But On is growing at 67% and Nike is growing at under 10%. So from an investment standpoint, yes, On is more expensive, but what you're getting is a much, much higher growth stock. And it would only take a couple of years of growth to actually make those price to sales multiples be the same. So that's what I'm saying where On, I think is ultimately a much better value than a company like Nike is right now. The market is clearly at a point where investors are focusing on things like the bottom line and cash flow and putting less focus on growth. But On is a growth machine right now. And I think that's something that we need to keep in mind as investors, despite the fact that the bottom line might not be as good as investors were hoping. If the company continues to grow at 30 plus percent, that is gonna make up for any pressure on the bottom line margins in the short term. Remember that long term, this company should be extremely profitable because, because as it continues to scale, and even if sales start to slow, you're going to start to see that operating margin pick up. So that 60% gross margin is going to translate to very high profitability. And if they're not increasing inventory and working capital, that's going to mean that more cash is coming into the business. 
So I think on holding is one of those companies where you need to take a long-term view. Think about where this company is going to be in five to 10 years. And are you paying an appropriate price for that right now? And I think the answer is yes, especially when compared to a big company like Nike. I love On's growth, its position, its branding, its ability to grow around the world. I think there's a very bright future for this company, but the market didn't like a few things from the quarter, last quarter that gives us a little bit more of a discount for investors. One that I'm looking to add over the next couple of months. What do you think of On's results though? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing and thanks for watching everybody. See you here next time.